think this is done. No health left, and there we go, join the force. They take the victory over 95 Vikings, and they take the first spot in this season. Two groups of seven teams will battle against each other in a round of robin best of one stage. Number one, each group goes to the semi-finals. Worst team, each group is out. The other 10 teams will go to the playing stage and battle it out to the remaining spots in the playoffs. Doge gets the one. Now it's on Pena. He gets the one. Can he get the second as he peeks out? He Ooh. does get the second! They again are having a buy and the run boost is coming out. This is what you like to see! Oh. And Bradfly takes the entry onto JV so easily. He was just flying like a bird there. I think this is done. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever match of season 4. Today we have Hector Seal versus Immensity Esports. They are officially not anymore part of them, so we call them X Immensity, I guess. Um, I'm joined today by Aiden, aka Smirky. He's gonna be my co uh, for tonight. Cookie couldn't make it, uh, but he might be here in the second match to shout some CSGO for you guys. I hope you guys are a bit as are excited as we are. I think um, you guys are happy to see us back on the screens, at least I am. Um, yeah, we've got an interesting matchup today. Um, Yggdrasil already part of season three, so I'm excited to see what these teams will do. Um, and yeah, the veto is gonna happen, so we're gonna talk about that uh, in a few Zero minutes. Zero first picked off. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited. I think this is gonna be an interesting match. Um, of course, completely new teams, completely new groups, seven teams in each group. Um, we've got a round robin stage uh, in the first half and after that we've got the play in stage where the teams will battle it out to go to the playoffs. So it's going to be, again, a pretty long um, league so far. Uh, I guess the veto is going to start, yes, they are already happening. We can move to the scene for that that's not the right one it has to be this one all right but since um, this is the best one we should be seeing a yeah. map that like both teams are quite comfortable with probably yeah so first well first map should be either of their permabands or the map they're least uncomfortable with yeah so once it starts we can see what she that is mirage already get, getting banned oh this team okay yeah ancient as well Quick okay. ones to start off. We are left with Inferno, Vertigo, Nuke, or Overpass. Which one would you like to see? So we can see that 
I, uh, we don't want to see any Puggy maps. We can see the tactical maps are starting to come away. Nuke and Ancient's gone. So yeah. leaves Overpass, Inferno, and... I'm trying to remember the last one. Vertigo. Yeah. Vertigo. Okay, so we have a few tactical maps still left in there. We have... Is that Vertigo gone? No, no. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, so that's Vertigo gone. So we just have Inferno and Overpass. Inferno seems like a quite... Is typically the mediator between both teams for quite a lot of... Yeah. For quite a lot of games. Yeah, I, I think Inferno is probably the map that they've both studied the most. Uh, I would like to see Overpass something different. Um, because I, I think the, the, the tactics on Overpass are a bit more uh, yeah, diverse than, uh, than on Inferno. Inferno is mostly doing the same thing, thing from my perspective, but I'm not a really good well, player, yeah. so I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah well, Mirage and, Overpa uh, Mirage and Inferno sorry, is like you know the most common maps in the map pools right now teams yeah. will either play the one of the two so it's quite commonly you know both teams are quite comfortable with the map but we can see that it's taking quite a bit of time yeah, actually, it is. to decide it, it looks like it's going to be inferno so yes yeah, yeah, there we go inferno yeah first game of this uh, of this of this season um i'm excited to see how they are going to play um we will be tuning to inferno in a few minutes ladies and gentlemen so uh, if you're ready for that, uh, at least we are, and we will be tuning in with you in a few minutes. So be right back. 2022 play-ins, Spirit faced a brand new 00 Nation on Ancient, giving them the chance to display their new B pistol strategy. As you can see, it's a set piece and not a simple rush, and this will mostly be playing around the post plant. Let's first take a look at the map to understand what Spirit did exactly to be able to pull this pistol round off. As you can see, they start off with having all five players towards lane, where they will set up ready for this B execute. Patsy will stay here, just making sure no CTs come out of Jaguar or jump up from middle. Now that the site is all secure, Patsy will then start the long flank all the way around to CT, while his teammates simply just try to buy as much time as possible for this flank to come in, hoping to get the round win off of it. So now let's take a look at Siren's point of view to understand what exactly he did for the side of Spirit. He will be purchasing up a smoke and a molotov, however making sure to drop over the molotov towards Chopper. He will also be carrying the bomb for this strategy. When his team are ready to go, he will then line himself up as shown, aiming just on the end of this plant and using a left click throw. This can be used for 128 and also 64 tick servers. This smoke will land towards short. Even though you can't see his crosshair here, he'll aim around this area and just throw the flash over. You can throw any sort of flash here if you want, so I wouldn't really worry about this too much. After this, his team have now secured the site. He will then plant default before heading in towards cave, playing for the post plant. Because they get smoked off, Spirit try to think of ways to get back in towards the site and simply just decide to explode out of the smoke as a group, overwhelming the CTs. Moving on to Magisk now, he will be simply picking up armor and will be the first player out towards ramp, taking the duel on towards Tri, who is on site. Also making sure to jump a little bit here, just making him a harder target to hit. He will then go in towards cave, boosting up wonderful, giving him a different angle to see over the smoke. They will then explode out of the smoke together as we already know. Chopper will be picking up two flashes and a smoke grenade. He'll be dropping one of the flashes over to a siren in the trade for the Molotov. He will line up his smoke by pushing himself in towards this corner, aiming on this smudge on the wall and using a jump throw bind. This is only for 128 tick because it does use a jump throw bind. I just want to make sure everyone is aware of that. Following this, he will then get in towards this corner, aim on the bottom left of this bucket and use a left click throw. However, this can also be used for 64 and 128 tick servers. Chopper will quickly then check the flank towards T-spawn before getting ready with his flashbang towards the site in in order for his team to explode out of cave that we have seen previously. Moving on to Patsy now, he'll be picking up armor and will be quickly looking towards middle and Jaguar. Notice how even when his teammates are going on towards the site, he isn't pushing or moving at all. He is simply waiting for a reaction from the CT side. He will then get quickly on this flank through middle after realizing no CTs are coming from this area of the map. He is able to buy enough time and also take out two players here that 0-0 Nation cannot defuse the time, resulting in the round win for Spirit. 
Now, looking at Wonderful here, who is actually auto muted. Um, however, I'm sure he is a great kid at heart. He'll be picking up armor the same as Patsy and Magisk, and will be the second entry on towards the site. After gaining sight control, he will then go with Magisk to clear all of Cave and Jaguar before being boosted on the box in Cave, ready for the post plant. Again, going out with his team with the flash from Chopper, being able to take out the diffuser, giving more time for Spirit to win the round. Overall, this strategy is fairly easy to pull off, however, I feel it would be a little bit challenging if the CT side is extremely aggressive towards lane and really wants to get information in this area of the map. However, you just need to make sure you're sort of aware of this and ready for that early CT aggression to come in. Go out there and give it a go for yourself and see how it works for you and your team. Thank you so much for watching guys, it's been Glaze and I'll speak to you very very soon. Liquid has been playing incredibly well at Iron. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the stream. We are finally here with, um, yeah, Ictor Steel versus Immensity Esports. And as you guys can see, we are starting with the night round. I see that there is no radar and I don't know why that's happening. <laughs> These things are still new to me, so let's see. Good job, productions. Yeah. Let's see where I can... Maybe it, it, it just doesn't show up in a warm-up. That could be a thing. No, it probably is. All right, so we clearly have no radar. I don't know why that's happening. But anyway, pistols are on starting. No kits from the CT side, but we have quite a bit of util actually coming in from uh, Pionk and Zillion. Yeah. Both A and B, B players. Zillion actually jump peeks towards apps and get a bit of information. Smog down early towards top mid, trying to... Looks like there's a bit of a one-way smoke going on actually. Yeah, without a radar, it's pretty hard to spot where the players are going to be, but immensity. They're grouping up towards B, actually. They do have yeah. quite a bit of util. Looks like they're trying to set up for like some sort of pop or a fake. Looks like they're going to fake towards A and just send the rest of the players out towards B. Yeah, Need let's to see what they will do. I, I, I think they're going to pop up pretty quickly. There are three players coming. Killian is completely smoked off, but there's a gap to work with, and maybe he can do something. Not hitting the shots right now, and the side is for immensity. The molly is uh, quite good, but a bit too late. Yeah, you generally want to get that Molotov pre, you know, pre-pinned before the bomb goes down. But killing gets Ooh. contact, dies. Traits are there, and it looks like immensity is still holding the side, but Loki with a second, and now angry. Fighting three people at the same time, getting two Zellion with the trait. And it looks oh, like... Oh, the, the main shot banana. He's not going to oh, get no. checked. <gasps> oh, he's running out of bullets. The no! Knife. What is happening? The is coming out. <laughs> they have no oh, time. Zillion this was... Teammates. This was so hard to see. <laughs> oh, you can really see it kind of, kind of bit him in the arse a bit, not having that kit. He had a lot of util, but it wasn't utilized well. I think that Molotov should have really come down like when the flashes came in. Instead yeah. of trying to go for the bomb. Drizzle now, they kind of need to decide though if they want to go for that force buy on that second round, which is probably optimal. So All yeah, right. time out coming in. Maybe give us a bit of time to talk about the anti-ecos, how they want to try to avoid any of those deagles just in case. And yeah, yeah. see Drizzle's actually going to force buy up. Scouts and deagles coming out with a bit of 5.7s. Ooh, the scout is coming out. That's interesting to see. Armor scout actually. Someone yeah. actually dropped that over to uh, Loki. So he's probably going to try and get a fast pick towards mid, so... Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, Drusil is really buying into this. And so we, we, yeah. we should be seeing on the on that's the T side sense. being a bit more uh, bit more passive, right? We don't want to see them swinging on mid, just in case it was like a deal rush or a scout. Yeah, right. 
So in in my city needs to be you know careful not to throw the advantage away. And yeah. so the e eco was sending four towards the ramp right now. Oh, infamous spotted, but he's not gonna go for the pick. There we go. Some early trades coming on. Oh, and Dracil oh, are yeah. taking two frags already. That's one AK removed. Angry on low HP. This is looking like it's going to be doable for Dracil to win this. Angel almost getting the shot there. And this team is sneaking up towards short. Getting some information. Getting the first frag. But there's a lot more to do. Funk is... Coming towards Long Loki with a frag. A beautiful kill, actually. Oh, oh my this god. This is getting really dicey now. You've got to be kidding me. This is going to be a win for Drasil. They tied immediately. And the Way... AKs were no problem for them. What is this? Way too slow. Those Deagle shots is able to pop out towards Banana. Just get those one Deags. I don't think there was any utility they threw like, towards Banana. Like, yeah. it just allowed the CTs just to freely peek out. And now, well, the economy wars are starting. It must be buying up with Tech 9 is possible. B rush? I don't no, know. It looks yeah. like they're out their troops. I think they're gonna go towards the B side. Yeah, they split up. Oh, Loki is suffering some heavy damage Ooh. early towards mid right now. Oh my god. Needs to be yeah. careful not to throw it around. Sure. Meanwhile, on that B bomb side, they want to take Banana. Pop flash going in. Ooh. Punk with the first opening kill on the CT side. Nice shot there. And we're just taking three loops to a Banana now. Oh, nice. This is good. Uh, even yeah. though they, they do not really have gun, uh, they don't really have guns. Immensity is at least doing some damage, but this banana control is devastating for them. They can leave one player here. Oh, Zealand spotted. Oh, a bit of his shoulders popping out right now. Yeah, we see That's the... hanged up, but yeah, they're right. slowly trickling away right now. Easily done. The wall bang as well. Angels closing it out with a double. Seal with it felt, it felt a lot more uh, apart from like the little peak towards me from Loki. It felt yeah. like a lot more safe, on, especially in Banana. That they wasn't going for the straight peaks, they wasn't allowing the deagles to you know find an open into the round. Now, it must say, uh, after panning the first person around and now forced them to an equal to try and rebuild their economy, they could be up 3 0 right now, but it's not in that cards not in their hands right now. Loki possible wanted to fight towards mid early, but. Yeah, the economy of immensity is really fragile right now. They can't get anything done. And again, um, we have we have three like pistols ganging up towards A right now. They might be looking for some sort of fast A play. That is doing some pretty nice damage. Yeah, <laughs> with a Glock you can't really do anything. Yeah, generally with the pistols you can't. You really want to like bulk up together and try and make something happen. Maybe get one by you know one guy to buy a flashbang. Yeah. As long as you, if you have at least I one flashbang, that can get a CT off the angle, you, that can allow you to push to a site, maybe isolate someone, just snowball off that, but just pushing up solo oh. with these blocks is just not working. Yeah, we hear one of the immensity peep, the peeps talking. I don't know what he's saying, I, I, maybe someone in the chat knows, knows what he was saying, but I'm not. Forgot to mute the players. MSC can actually buy. MSC actually bought up here, but their util is just looking really bad. Yeah, it is. Like, they they probably no have one, to no, take something. Yeah. Like yeah. So there should be there should be Galils or you know UMPs or Mike Tens being bought on that T side. Not everyone with five AKs. Yeah. They're gonna really need like they're gonna really need some open picks here or something or something given from the CT side. Yeah, really. I I I also would say like do something quick. You don't really have much utility. Try to get the plans and maybe. When, when the retake after that, but the whole holding without utility is just so hard. Like when you have some some basic smokes, it makes it so much easier. And oh, they popped off apps actually. Ooh. Look, opening kill, dropping out towards pit, almost Ooh. gets the kill towards model, gets the trade, and one down on B as well, I think. And oh. okay, finally, the kills are torn here. Apart. Yeah, Killian left alone with the AWP, so he's probably gonna save that. And. Look at this That's... map control, yeah? Even one on Banana, this is really dangerous yeah, just... for Killian, yeah. He's just trying to, gonna try and perhaps try and tear the AWP away from him. I don't think they know about the AWP, actually. I'm not too sure if it was shown in the other rounds, but it was really good what they did. They kind of like, I think it was lurking out of apps. They just double peaked out and they just got the opening kills and traded off each other. 
once the two bar yeah. guys you know got the two kills the guy towards the top mid just swings out gets the guy short and well they bomb sites theirs yeah like wh wh when you don't really have the utility you you often just play for the contact right just pop out and maybe trade each other out get a get a plan well you have to yeah and like yeah, they, you know silence is the best weapon yeah Killian wanting to hold on to this up now. Ooh, this season is ganging down. around towards Ruins. First kill, Killian looking to in towards Ruins. Doesn't quite get the second. Oh, that was hard to see. I really thought he got the second one as well, but... Immensity closing up the gap a bit. Two rounds right now and an AWP save, so... T-Side AWPing on further. Do you see that often? It's, it's not really utilized as much. There's there's some unique players, maybe like a Brokey out there who tends to you know lean towards the uh, yeah. open on the side. But players like Zyru or maybe Device back in his day wasn't really open as much. More of a fight play. But, but speaking of the orbs, Killian yeah. gets one of his own. <laughs> indeed, indeed. And a quick man advantage for Drusilla. Oh, we have a rain smoke popping down. He's going to push through this, actually. Pion can push through this. This is oh a rain my. smoke. Angry, angry doesn't seem this. aware of this. <gasps> and he gets no! the kill anyway. Oh my god. That should have been Pionk's kill any day of the week. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not too sure if he wasn't positioned correctly. Maybe he was great. He great screened himself. But the T's are just going to kind of look onto this bomb site right now. Oh. <laughs> oh my. How, how is this happening? Drasil, they are... They, they have to save this. Oh my god, what a shots coming out there. He just pre-fired the AWP right there. And I and I think that that's maybe the thing Immensity is capable of doing. Like, pre-firing corners. And getting the advantage of Drasil. But that first frag in Banana was absolutely insane. By Angry there. Oh my. And yeah, Drasil. No chance in hell they're gonna win this retake. Drazil needs to be a bit careful not trying to play too much like tricks or any gimmicky stuff early on because they might just they could just stick to the defaults you know be basic yeah and maybe sprinkle on the gimmicky stuff if it's needed or if they want to you know change change it up a little bit Loki John hold on to the AWP gets the kill onto Adimus I don't know how to say that they managed to save onto the rifles as the T start coming down Yep, they said the rifles. We're all good. If I was Drazil right here, I wouldn't be buying up though. Their money's looking pretty shabby. They might want to try and make a play with these rifles they have. Mm -hmm. Or do something. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah this oh, they're actually, they're actually, they're actually going to go full in. Okay. They actually do have quite a bit of YouTube, but two of the players have just nothing and just UMPs and 5.7s. Yeah. Mesty doing kind of a default. Oh, the ultimate sent towards apps. Oh, and he gets gushed early on. Oh no. Why are we not seeing that? <laughs> Come on. Let us enjoy something in this late evening. Oh, okay. well, while we're looking at Banana. Ooh. Angry wanted to go for another contact play. Looks like a flash is gonna come in. Tap gets the kill while blind. Kill in. Wanted to refrag his teammate. Decides not to and falls back to the world bomb site. Another member from a Drazil is going to rotate towards B, making it a 2 2. And this is as free liberty of Immosity right now. They've opened up the map. They can, you know, wrap A, since there should only be two players on there. And actually, you look what it's done to Drazil. Tap's kind of just faking that bomb sign. It's just sent four players towards B. Oh my god. Immensity, they've got so much space right now. And Drazil, they are, they are gambling. They, they probably do have, because. They, they can't to... win this if you look at the firepower and MST, they are splitting up. The bad smoke is maybe going to provide something for Zellion and he's pushing out, getting one. It's a great opening frag. Loki is instantly rotating, but this stack is not working out. Three players towards the B side. Loki late on the flank, but it's maybe already too late. Killian with the information and yet... This... They really need to speed things up here. Yeah, they the do. The coming back in. Oh, the op has been posted towards library. He's gonna get smoked off right though. Three on three. Oh. <laughs> three of the smoke. We like you to see, see that. that 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 one kill has actually forced him to save now. That A bomb set is super difficult to rotate and just Ooh. losing a player so early on. But he's getting away with two ops, okay. That's something you can save, but I think immensity is not. Really, 
I think one of the issues they're having is that they're giving a banana a bit like too easy towards that for the uh emosity side. Like they're able to just creep up banana, they're not taking you know that much util damage. It looks like they're mostly playing towards like the site and maybe sometimes throwing something towards car. They need to like really be throwing more stuff towards banana to get them to fall off. Alright. Doesn't matter too much, you should be able to buy rebuy an AK, but yeah, there's no their economy is just Glass right now, it can shatter, and they should really eco at this point. They need to. Oh, they're gonna force pay up again around the double ops. Oh, there's no, there's very little utility of with the majority of the plays right now. Mm hmm. There's early aggression towards B. Killy, I'm not able to peek. He might do in the future. Oh my god, oh, that's what they needed. What a shot there! <laughs> they need a bit of individual insane. plays in this round. The caster curse is here. I thought he was not be able to get that done, but he got that kill really quickly. What a shot. Oh, this could be dangerous for Angry if he peeks towards top mid right now. Oh, and right. there it is, the double oh. long setup. It comes into fruition. The individuals are just shining. Yeah, those orbs are shining. And another one. Oh my god, oh, op. No, another op removed. Now it's a one on five for Deldon. He's definitely not going to win this. Hello, Salion takes him out. That should not be around. It must he should he ever get close to ever. And a replay. I mean, sorry, Jezo should ever get Beautiful. close to. They, they had so much util like on from on the Emusty side. They could just flash off long, smoke it off. While if Carl flash him, I know like uh, Quillian was blind, but it all seemed a bit too rushed and. Yeah. Well, definitely. They made the better. They got to line it right now. Force buying up. Okay, there we go. Let's see if they can take Banana from uh, from Kilio. That hit an insane shot in the last round. And they're starting to take Banana right now. They've actually dealt quite a bit of util towards uh, Emosity. Going for the repeat. Pyong trying to go for the kill. Gets traded. Kilian left alone on that bomb site. But he looks a bit too scared to peek. Smoke comes in just in the perfect nick of time as well. Yeah, that was perfect. Oh, they actually, they actually oh got my. Killian takes him out. What a shot there. And he's maybe got a re peek again. Ooh, the flash. There we go. The AK has been recovered. Look how lucky he is. Ooh. Oh, look, he doesn't hit the shot. No. The side is here. Three on three. I think this is a doable round for Immensity. But Killian is still here with the 5 7 and the AWP. He probably knows that there is someone on quad. See what he can do. The nade is there. That's going to provide some damage for him. 50 HP to angry. Oh, but this angle from... Oh, he spotted. Oh, no, no. There we... Oh, my God. Almost getting two. Zellion with the trade. Kilia needs to hit an insane shot. And there we go. The last one. Towards Banana. Is the miss. Is the one to do it. And he needs to stick. And there we go. That's a beautiful clutch. And they needed that. But it was a really he close one. These rounds are just going like really back and forth. Like some of these rounds, yeah. like the team without like, the least economy, the least like util, like they should just not be winning this. Like Drazil gave Car up so like way too quickly for Emosity. They were just able to push up onto that, onto that bomb site, and well, as a result, they just got executed on. Killian tried to make a bit, bit, bit of a play, but not meant to be. Yeah. The, the buy is actually still not great on the Emosity side. We have a Beagle and a Mac 10 being run, but. Oh dear, this double apps play could be dangerous right now. Oh, this triple apps play. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh my god. Two quick kills. And the spam is maybe gonna finish Angel. Oh no. That's oh, so they unfortunate. To... They need to react off here, right? They know there's at least, like, at least a minimum of two towards A. Looks like. They need to pick a side right here. If they go together, then they have like a really good chance. Oh, but look at this angle from Loki. He's definitely going to kill one. Oh, there he's we not going to get checked. And tap just way too far. Not able to go for the trade. Yeah, this is just beautifully done. Loki. Or... I'm still probably what? pronouncing it wrong, but... The chat is... is... <laughs> I, I, I still don't know. I'm just calling Colin Loki. Or... I don't know. That triple episode was a really good round to pull that through, actually. With, like, such a fragile economy as well. This playing close with those MP9s and just that trap setup. Just completely ruins the Yeah. And look at this buy. This is not great. 
then maybe they can oh, do oh, something. Oh. oh my god, angry. What's going on? That's not what you like to see. Killian with another frag. All right, it looks like we've gone back to bit mortality. I've not seen that take. He just pushes up long against the opening on A. Yeah, just running. He, he, he doesn't care. Loki has the what? shot there. And another one. one. Fantastic oh so my. far. He needs to hold this bomb site. Oh, no. oh my god, he gets a double. Finds last one towards A, goes more. for the final <gasps> kill and gets it. Triple kill. Defending that A done. bomb site from Pit. Yeah. Really well done. These rounds, man. Yeah, it's it's so and it's close. Like in these, like these these openings can just be disastrous, like for the other team. Yeah. That long open just completely messed with the rotations. The same with on B as well. I don't think we've seen like a proper. Oh, hold on, hold the phone. Lucky gets pushed over <laughs> the tech nine. Oh dear. Oh my. <laughs> these okay. rounds are just completely not what I what I was expecting. Like. Oh yeah. People are getting oh God, destroyed left and right with pistols. Loki already down. That's an AWP removed. I think with a lot of these pistols, they need to be playing together. If like, yeah. you know, if there was a play with uh, Portek, or I don't have to say the name properly, sorry. But if there was a play with him, they could have easily just snowballed off that, you know, try and get the trade on shore and just push onto the bomb site. Angle, tearing him up with the MP9, making that money. Yeah, that's gonna leave some nice cash with him. And they'll know, maybe he can hit a shot. There we go. Because the curse isn't here. I was right. Nah, th this <laughs> should be over. Yeah, it is. But yeah, I was saying, but I was saying before though, there was there hasn't been a round where like both teams have had a proper buy where like both teams had full economy, full guns. It's just been really scrappy. Oh, look at this. And oh dear, they're both sitting inside of the smoke. This is really dangerous <laughs> actually. For Hello. <laughs> Funk, sorry, and he gets oh the kill anyway, God. which is good, and the double up. <laughs> Uh, That's a really risky playload to make against just a single pistol. Just keep the advantage. You have a rifle. You don't need to <laughs> play so close to that. I know, but it looks so funny. It was like, hello there. Really nice to see. But Drusil doing some great stuff right now. 7 on 5. And of course, it's a CD sided map, so they are not doing that bad. But I guess Immensity haven't really done anything fast yet they just play their normal defaults and it's not working out so far loki hitting another shot a default angle to pre-fire but Deldon is not ready to get that done and it's an opening for drizzle but yeah. it must have been able to bring this back so many times oh, getting tied down to half hp instead of boiler looks like they're gonna try and regroup towards b actually yeah we have hote just sitting inside of the kobe right now currently he's kind of watching this with the op Almost gets his head taken off. And the XQ's coming in, smokes down. Okay, okay, so they've identified where both players are. They know the one towards CT, one towards ruins. They should know the site is clear. Yeah, Get the bomb down. Oh, this is so so scary, Killiam. This, this, really, this is really scuffed, actually. There's no one playing towards the site. Yeah. Like, the, and there's five like five incoming. Lucky just didn't get the kill, but oh doesn't my. matter. This is so messy. What is happening? Pot's getting two. What is this? Killian with another one. And there we go. Loki finishing it off. No way that Pot was able to win that. They were just really scared of like ruins there. They just played inside a pool. They didn't want to. They should have really just double peaked together. And then from there, they could get comfortable and decide. Play towards card, uh, quad, have some crossfires. But they can't just start towards CT pretty much doing nothing. Yeah. Allowing the Drizzle just to roll on in. Mastity wanted to buy off that actually. Again, not enough util like. So I scuffed by while on Drizzle sides, they have everything they need. Loki probably wanted to peek towards mid again. Yeah, it probably is. Killian falling back. So, no further than an aggression. Never mind, Funk is here. Let's oh, see looks if like he a bit of a flash player. Hello. Yep. Flash gets both of them. Doesn't quite get the second, but good information. Killer and gets the second. And the rest of the T's are creeping up towards apps right now. Angle needs to be careful. Ooh, Mac 10 could just... Oh, it's in. Hello. Angel. Oh, oh and my. he's vulnerable. And there it is. Good trade there. One player yeah, rotating yeah, towards A. Let's see what they... Are they going to leave B right now? I don't know. Two on three. Oh, look at Tap. I know you can't see right now, but Tap's look for you arch right now. He's instead of library. He's about to shoot luck in the back. Ooh, that's interesting. There we it. go. Oh two my! Two. The map has been opened. 
This is interesting. One of them towards CT. Oh, and the bomb's heading towards B as Ronald. B is the target. Killing has all to do hit right here. Yeah, he has to do with everything on his own. He should be good for one. Doesn't quite get the first. Playing around pillar right now. 5-7 in hand. Oh, he needs to hit these oh, shots. Oh the my wall. god. He's getting and one. And look how much time that has bought for Zilling to get instead of banana and get comfortable. Yeah, these are like, really tap, close. Tap won't be able to move towards ruins and get, you know, get comfortable. He has a Molotov as well. He could really burn him out right now. Going for the peak. Oh, doesn't quite get it. No. Yes. Uh, Almost. <laughs> Almost back. winning the round for Seal. Like, Killian was doing everything he could there. But, yeah, it was just not in his favor. And Immensity take the sixth round. That CT look really opened things up. Once yeah, you got the killer, it was just, it was just, you know, open season then. It was a game changer. Oh, looks like we're going to see something fast towards mid, actually. Zillion trying to peek out towards second mid. Going for the opening on bridge. Loki assisting in the kill. Yeah, three towards apps. This is just the hands of immensity right now. They do have banana. Oh, that spam for middle is doing some damage as well. Boost coming out from for the A side. So it looks like Versilio is maybe giving up banana a bit. On A as well. They should probably switch guns. Angle is, you know, quite full HP. 5-7 in the hand. Whereas Zillion does have armor, but he's just kind of limping at this point with 20 HP. They should really switch guns over. Yeah. Angle will have a much better chance to get a, rive, uh, get a kill before you know getting traded. However, on that B bomb side, they're playing a bit more dangerous. Just sit inside of the smokes. I don't think Amosity is going to check this, actually. They haven't played the boost once during this game, and this is going to, is going to become as a, as a massive shock. Ooh, let's see if he's going to check it. The MP9 is the oh. perfect weapon to do so. Oh, he so. doesn't see oh, it. My. Oh, This is awkward. Oh my god, angry. <laughs> It's taken out. Celion is getting one as well. And Pod with another opening. He's doing the heavy lifting for his team right now. And Deldon and Pod are on a completely different sides. It's a 2 on 4. It's hard to win, but the first one has been found. Loki rotating to the B side. And it looks like Immensity is completely stuck. Yeah, they have to go towards the B side, it looks like. 19 seconds. 15. This is gonna be so hard they have a smoke for ct so they can maybe get the plant Ooh, oh my god they are getting the plant down this is absolutely insane the push for the smoke is happening as well and deldon with 7 hp making this work to maybe get their team their seventh round both players stuck towards ruins let's see they're got they have to push it's the last round of course no way they are gonna save MP9 picked up, it's a 2 on 2 let's see what they can do, Deldon spotting both of them. This is gonna be a heavy task, and the flank from Pod is there, oh my god, he's getting this done! You have to be kidding me, 7 HP left! What is this? This is absolutely ludicrous. 7 HP, they, they were both checking the other corner, how, <laughs> how is this happening? They, they just win the half. I wasn't expecting this. Hey, yes. And we are back with the second half. And I see that Trusil and Immensity are swapped. I don't know what is happening. But Pot doing his stuff, getting the kills. Alright. Immensity trying to defend the side with a Jubilee. So this is a cluster for Killian again with two. And he gets the third. That's beautifully done.
There's a lot of tags coming in. Sorry about that, I'm back now, but hopefully miss didn't miss anything too exciting. Yeah, yeah. Actually we're gonna see, we're gonna actually see a different um like or a different uh, philosophy on how they want to handle banana control on the Minocity side. They you can see like he's holding on to car right now. Like Drizil, they can't just walk into you know a car right now with util smokes. Like they have to respect this util with angry holding. Meanwhile, you know, side is towards coffins with a pot flash ready to set angry up. The flash needs to come in right now. Angry, he needs to be set up. The flash isn't. The flash is way too late, and angry just ties looking at the wall. Sides. Look. See how they double back and look if he. One or two could fake the A bomb side, try and bait the you know rotations coming in, and it looks like what that's what they're gonna do. Smoke is coming in. They are they're not, they're not budging. Staying two towards B. Five seconds left on the clock. They need to get that bomb down. They need to protect him. Time is getting low. Pop. Tap should be saving right here. There's n you shouldn't have any chance to get this, and yeah, round is over. Eleventh round goes on to Brazil. Drizzle's like individuals look really fired up. Oh, actually, hold on a minute. They're peeking towards Banana. Deagles doesn't quite get killed. Oh, he gets the first. Grid's coming in. They should really throw that AK out of the map. They cannot afford to let the CT side just snowball again like they did on the latter half. Or oh, the first part, sorry. Loki denying a lurk from the CT side and underpass. Oh, no. <laughs> This is so doable. You have so he has so much room right now. Loki one HP. They're forced to to go towards B where there's two five sevens waiting. Oh wait, Darden's actually gonna rotate. There's only one. There's only one B right now. There should be tons of people on B right now. Poor Taker's got so much info. Oh, uh, the opening kill. They need to be careful with their flank. The new one was behind. They're probably... Look... Looks, looks, looks like they're trying to look for something right now. Oh. Even though the even though the scoreline is somewhat like close, like it's, the frags are just completely different. The kills are just going way in favor of Drizil's side right now. It feels like it's just wonder players coming out from Mimosity that can just win a bit. But actually, speaking of wonder players, Tap pushes down towards mid. He gets checked by Pyong, by Funk. Sorry, 
Putting it into a 5v4 in favor of the T-Titan is super dangerous now. There's long as easily exposed if you just smoke off short. That is actually really important to have. At least if they have you know, banana control, they can try and get that extra player rotated. But in this round, it looks like they kind of wanted to hold on to banana. Setting themselves up perhaps for a pop flash play? Scambly gets the first kill. Doesn't quite get the second, but does get the dink. Information though. He knows how many are behind that smoke right now. He needs to be ready. No util on that B bomb site. He, need, he, need, he needs to find damage, like, even on a 4v3, like, it's not good enough, like, there's only one kit. t spotted now, if that is information, is key gets the first kill, we're gonna fall off right now. 3v3, this is super doable right now. Coffins is open, he's gonna try and go for another. Gets the kill, and falls off, putting in a favor of 3v2. Oh, and it's a bad CT smoke, and stuck at the damage on angle. This will be a miracle. Awesome. Yeah. Oh. Dorp. <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry, right, guys. Could it, could I, should, I certainly was muted the whole time. This is just the production quality of, of uh, my lifetime. It's, him, it's absolutely points. insane. Oh, pull them. This is going to be a meme for a long while, probably. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, something fast. Look at that fast banana play. There's no util creeping up right now. They have so much space. Looks like the CTs wanted to like get in favor of getting their sams getting themselves set up on that site. Down to default right now. Looking for any kills towards banana. Oh. Baller getting tested by angle. Forcing Dalden off the angle. Ooh. Some, some damage, damage exchange yeah. being towards A. One minute left on the clock right now. I must say, I still have a really good hold on top mid right now. Dalton's playing a pretty uh, a pretty risky angle on top of the pallets on short, but it's still a really solid hold on. A lot of information. They know they're not towards A. Tap sees one towards mid. But I don't know how much they want to trust that information. Yeah. Jazzos is leaning towards B right now. <laughs> Meanwhile, Angles is trying to fake. Oh, he can catch the lurk. Loki is behind. Oh, the time, and they're not going to check each other. Oh, my he God. Stuff late and he gets it. <laughs> oh, Loki almost got behind there. And off this, they're just going to pop onto the side. Yeah. You know it's a fake. You know what's coming. No CT smoke is coming oh, in. A triple angry. coming in. Beautifully done. Oh, and, and the third. quad. That's, that's just insane. Immensely just completely turned around. Brazil just, felt no so yeah. Brazil just felt so pressured to hit B after that look was discovered. <laughs> and in chat, <laughs> let me just put Gino you know, CT smoke. Oh my. Oh, did they actually have a CT smoke? Did they use it? Or was it for coffins? I, I don't, don't remember. I, I don't know. I, I think they, they, they have used smoke, right? <sighs> Whatever it was, it was a bad like execute like it doesn't seem very coordinated meanwhile fast out plays sounds. coming in oh and this is just not gonna work with this smog down this smog is way too powerful along with Dalden coming in for the assistance yeah, he left on the 1v5 <laughs> with his deagle in hand this is not <laughs> he's gonna shoot his own teammate <laughs> but it does end the round cleanly oh my and this is what they really want right now must they really want to build you know build, be building that bank up yeah just for the lot of rounds before it was just all about that economy war. Like, Amosity in the, uh, to their T side, they never really got like a proper buy down. 
it was always just like bad weapons or just barely any util. Now it's still just completely flipped. They got so much util they can just, you know, flush around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a well timed timeout, I guess. They've got four out. rounds to go, yeah. First time out of your seal. Um, and this is really see, the one they, they have to You can win. see why, why it's coming in, right? They lost three rounds in a row, probably three rounds they should have won. Like, it started, like, the, the gap was, what was it, 7, 12, 7 or something? Like, it's yeah. really closing out fast right now. Giselle needs to send a lead. Killing actually going for a glass cannon. Is he just going to take the standard up peak towards mid? They may not expect this, actually, based on the economy. Oh, and they're going to push down towards mid. He sees the elbow. CT's pushing down. The aggression. Meanwhile, the CT's on banana, trying to find the room for an attack. Ooh. One for once. That's a good trade. Oh, it's more advantageous for this for that T side. Porter just wanted to grab every bit of information he can towards apps. Oh, Killian also takes down that and pushing down, down towards mid. It's getting really scrappy now. Ooh, an angel getting one as well. That's this scary. Be over. Yeah, this is this is done. They just need to regroup together and just pop onto a side, and you can see Mossy's kind of gambling a little bit. Yeah, but I I I would say Immensity is able to can maybe win us if they play together, but that's gonna be hard. If to if gamble. they if they play together and they yeah. multi frag heavily, they definitely can. If damage piece was mid right now, long smoke's coming in. Is there any gap he can try to exploit? Oh, there is. He's gonna push through the smoke angle. You're oh, behind no. the bomb. Oh, oh the no. first kill, the double kill is coming <gasps> in. This is oh so no! Horrible. This is falling apart. Two on one. Oh, he just oh hit the no this scope. is. Thirty seconds left. He's gonna run towards B with bomb. And yeah, you should have time to plant it. A free passage for him, at least. He got and the this plant. orp is gonna be also. This orp is also gonna be really difficult to retake with, especially with no kit. Yeah, but he is, he is here in time. Two players he is there in time. Yeah. The CT smoke should be fading soon. He might want to consider saving, honestly. Yeah, he, 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 or like he, how he much room they could have taken is just. He's probably gonna kill him if, if he's not if he's not if he's just just not. Oh my, he's just coming in. All right, Loki. When he gets checked, it, they did it really close. Like, Demis, like <laughs> that, that fast peak towards mid is properly ruined. They were just not expecting it. I think that smoke was way too shallow. Uh, it allowed him to have a bit of room to sneak behind it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But 13 rounds for Drasil. I think this is looking really good right now. They really need to win this one. And I think they have match point. Uh, oh, triple towards Banana actually. Oh, that's a really interesting nade setup. But no damage at all. Only four. And Punk is trying to get something done. Getting the first one at least. And some damage on tap, so this is gonna be scary for Immensity to hold. But at least Angry gets the trade. This is gonna be different for Drasil to um, to get up to four on four. They've got the apartments controls and the boost coming up towards the B side. Interesting. Meanwhile, Gis Meanwhile Giselle's wanting to kind of focus their attack on the A bomb site. There's only two plays right now on. On A, and that's one towards short, and one towards the double box on default. Yeah. They could have quite a bit of room to exploit it with. You can easily take down Potter, who's just sat in the open. Long smoke coming in. And he's going to drop the Martops, delaying their attack. But that's their last piece of util now. Last yeah. piece of util to hold on to that A bomb side. Now they just need to fight it out. Now they need individual players. Type. Oh, he falls off just. Oh, after no. The peak. Only one M4 left. Can he hold this? No, he can't. Loki with the kill. The two on four. Look at this HP, but Drasil. They're definitely going to get the plan down. And what is Immensity going to do? It looks like they're going to save. And this is going to be a done round. 14 for Drasil. Plan is down as well. Yeah, this is over. Saving an AK at least, but... No way in hell they're going to win this one. Drasil with 14. This is looking re really good for them. I think um, they are in a really good shape to uh, to get this victory tonight.
Especially Brazil when you get rid of the money, Brazil yeah. Brazil de definitely do have, like, the stronger individuals, I would think. Yeah. I think on the Mustard side, it's more of, like, a lot of players that are coming in or, like, scrappy rounds they're able to grasp. Yeah. Brazil definitely. able to keep all four rifles, though. It's really important for that, you know, economy as well, because you can see their money is about to shoot up, and, yeah, they can buy now for, like, two rounds, mm. if anyone from goes south, which is up to match point. So, set for victory right now. Yeah. Mercy with him. not really much to spare. Yeah, it's just scraps and buttons. Yeah, they have to win this round, otherwise it's probably going to be over. At least some guns up their sleeves. Uh, they can, they, as well, not, but only they cannot kit, afford yeah. to get that bomb down as well. Delden mm. has the only kit on that CT side. Fast play being set up, actually. Ooh, this nade needs to be crucial. Demi is trying to... There we go. Look at anything. that. It's just a lot of damage, though. Yeah. It's good damage actually, especially you know to soften up those MP9 with those MP9s and uh, thermoses. Have a uh, place being set up actually. Hmm. Let's see down on these. Oh, just... but he gets punished. Worried about mill. Yeah, Loki just getting him down. It, it feels like it was another play they were trying to rely on. Yeah. Like oh, oh the timing oh, as well. Finally, angle. quick switches at the wrong moment. Immensity finally getting the opening there. Making it equal, but this is this is gonna be oh my god, Funk is getting one as well. Angry at least with the trade on B, but oh, he's not gonna one. check this. Oh he gets legs. <gasps> oh my no. <laughs> 50 so, HP so the, left. Is the, so the good news is that they know both players are towards B. Both B players. Meaning this should only be one towards A, but bad news is the bomb is just left in ramp. Loki looking towards CT, gets the kill. Two on two. They know one's A, one B. They need to regroup together and hit a bomb site. 30 seconds left. Loki playing solo. Gets tapped down from far from range. Yeah. Funk is going to decide he wants to go towards B. And gets the kill through the smoke. He has plenty of time right now to get that bomb down and just reposition for the after plan. And an open plan as well. This is really. Oh, and he's going to make a risky play pushing through Can the he CT pick up spot. The smoke? Is he going to pick up. No, he doesn't. But look at the utility for pot. He got I don't, a lot I don't think he's gonna, he, he might not check this actually. I don't know. No, he he, he shouldn't. Oh, he is. Oh my. Oh, you okay. almost you almost overlooks it. 19 HP. All right. Okay. That that's a well deserved win for immensity, I would say. That that B play, that banana play they really, they was really crucial. Brought that back. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's like a few individual players can just bring it up. While mm -hmm. it feels like on the Brazil side, it's just constant, like it's consistent. And all day we actually see three rushing up towards banana right now. Some sort of fast play coming in. Okay. Oh, and Funk has the kill for the smoke. Dalden left and spec hit. Oh no, Demis joins him. Oh no, this can be the end. 5v3, 14 11. It could become 15 right now. Yeah. Has come back from, you know, has come back from a few of these rounds before. Oh, but tap. Get shot through the smoke. Yeah. This, this is, is really. This is going to be really hard. for Mercy right now. Yeah, it really is. Interesting places, right? They've got match, uh, match point up their sleeves. Let's see what they're going to do. Are they going to go towards the A side? It looks like they are. This is this is kind of all up to Porter right now. He needs to go huge. He needs to put that mod down towards short and doesn't get the this kills. Is done. It's over. Angry. Round 15. Can maybe match get point. some exit frags, but no way. This is match point. Drasil. You shouldn't, shouldn't even go 15. for this. They only yeah. have one loss bonus. They need everything they can have. Feels like it's just a waste right now, just going in. Zelian, probably not going to get checked. This is an... Look at this angle. There's even a body in front yeah. of him. And the pipe as well just blocks him. Yeah, beautiful. You can look at the money right now. They need to They need to have been fast. Giselle, they've been kind of, you know... Oh, I, I forget what the word is, but... They've been they've been seeing they've seen a lot of like fast plays against from us you know from immensity with a lot of apps pops and whatever mm -hmm. so they should be somewhat ready for this like the condition that's the word they can they've been conditioned with these fast players so we should probably see some some sort of fast mid play or banana peak yeah there we go the fast plays happening oh, okay 
Is this over? Immensely pulling it on. Yeah, they are just going out, getting one. This them is getting at least a trade, but Drusil, they are having the side five, three on three now. Okay, Killian makes it equal. Ooh, and now they have to be oh. ready, Chris. Look at this angle. This is going to be insane. Okay. Funk you is getting to you. You can hear that, but there was a bit of tilt in, in the in-game chat as well. <laughs> can Funk maybe Golden. close it out? One there we three. go. Yeah, All right. Happen. All right. We've got ourselves our first match, ladies and gentlemen. It was a bit messy at the start. It's a bit messy with the hut, but... I hope you liked it. We will be moving on to the second game. Drusil won this game. Yeah, I think well deserved. Immensity couldn't uh, get up the individual individual place. And um, guys, we will that... take a short break. I don't know if you have to add something to that, Aiden. But no, What's... sorry. I was just gonna say, yeah, the, the five path of Drusil was. Just, I think it was way more like it was too much for Immensity to handle. They were just too rel too reliant on their like individual or yeah. Uh, fast players like pushing down mid, pushing through a smoke, whatever. And over time, you know, it's just not consistent enough to hold up in, in that game. So, fair, mm -hmm. play, fair play to Brazil. There's a few stuff they could work on, but overall, it was a solid play. Yeah, they really did a good job. I, I would say they, uh, they deserve their points. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a small break and we will start with the next game in a few minutes. Um, and that's going to be Arctuous versus Monkey Clan. So, stay tuned for that. And there we go, join the force. They take the victory over 95 Vikings. And they take the first spot in this season. Two groups of seven teams will battle against each other in a round of robin best of one stage. Number one, each group goes to the semi-finals. Worst team, each group is out. The other 10 teams will go to the playing stage and battle it out to the remaining spots in the playoffs. Doge gets the one. Now it's on Pena. He gets the one. Can he get the second as he peeks out? He Ooh. does get the second! They again are having a buy and the Ren boost is coming out. This is what you like to see! Oh. And Brad fly!
Playing Spirit faced a brand new Zero Zero Nation on Ancient, giving them the chance to display their new B pistol strategy. As you can see, it's a set piece and not a simple rush, and this will mostly be playing around the post plant. Let's first take a look at the map to understand what Spirit did exactly to be able to pull this pistol round off. As you can see, they start off with having all five players towards lane, where they will set up ready for this B execute. Patsy will stay here, just making sure no CTs come out of Jaguar or jump up from middle. Now that the site is all secure, Patsy will then start the long flank all the way around to CT, while his teammates simply just try buy as much time as possible for this flank to come in, hoping to get the round win off of it. So now let's take a look at Siren's point of view to understand what exactly he did for the side of Spirit. He will be purchasing up a smoke and a molotov, however making sure to drop over the molotov towards Chopper. He will also be carrying the bomb for this strategy. When his team are ready to go, he will then line himself up as shown, aiming just on the end of this plant and using a left click throw. This can be used for 128 and also 64 tick servers. This smoke will land towards short. Even though you can't see his crosshair here, he'll aim around this area and just throw the flash over. You can throw any sort of flash here if you want, so I wouldn't really worry about this too much. After this, his team have now secured the site. He will then plant default before heading in towards cave, playing for the post plant. Because they get smoked off, Spirit try to think of ways to get back in towards the site and simply just decide to explode out of the smoke as a group overwhelming the CTs. Moving on to Magisk now, he will be simply picking up armor and will be the first player out towards ramp, taking the duel on towards Tri who is on site. Also making sure to jump a little bit here, just making him a harder target to hit. He would then go in towards cave, boosting up wonderful, giving him a different angle to see over the smoke. They would then explode out of the smoke together as we already know. Chopper will be picking up two flashes and a smoke grenade. He'll be dropping one of the flashes over to a siren in the trade for the Molotov. He will line up his smoke by pushing himself in towards this corner, aiming on this smudge on the wall and using a jump throw bind. This is only for 128 tick because it does use a jump throw bind. I just want to make sure everyone is aware of that. Following this, he will then get in towards this corner, aim on the bottom left of this bucket and use a left click throw. However, this can also be used for 64 and 128 tick servers. Chopper will quickly then check the flank towards T-spawn before getting ready with his flashbang towards the site in in order for his team to explode out of cave that we have seen previously. Moving on to Patsy now, he'll be picking up armor and will be quickly looking towards middle and Jaguar. Notice how even when his teammates are going on towards the site, he isn't pushing or moving at all. He is simply waiting for a reaction from the CT side. He will then get quickly on this flank through middle after realizing no CTs are coming from this area of the map. He is able to buy enough time and also take out two players here that Zero Zero Nation cannot defuse the time, resulting in the round win for Spirit. Now looking at Wonderful here, who is actually auto muted, um, however, I'm sure he is a great kid at heart. He will be picking up armor, the same as Patsy and Magisk, and will be the second entry on towards the site. After gaining site control, he will then go with Magisk to clear all of Cave and Jaguar before being boosted on the box in Cave, ready for the post plant. Again, going out with his team with the flash from Chopper, being able to take out the diffuser, giving more time for Spirit to win the round. Overall, this strategy is fairly easy to pull off, however, I feel it would be a little bit challenging if the CT side is extremely aggressive towards lane and really wants to get information in this area of the map. However, you just need to make sure you're sort of aware of this and ready for that early CT aggression to come in. Go out there and give it a go for yourself and see how it works for you and your team. Thank you so much for watching guys, it's been Glaze and I'll speak to you very very soon. Liquid has been playing incredibly well at I Am Clone 2022 so far, dropping Zero Zero Nation, Furia, and even Cloud9. With the addition to Yakinda within their roster, we have started to see a new light for the North American team. Today, we'll be taking a look at Overpass Pistol Strat that Liquid pulled off against Zero Zero Nation at I Am Cologne. Let's first take a look at the map to understand what exactly happened. Now as we can see at the start of the round guys, Zero Zero Nation actually go for a heavy A presence early on in the round. Because of this, they'll be more playing for a retake on the B side of the map. Liquid will send a leash towards middle to apply some pressure on the enemy team early on. 
He was able to take out Damu who is spotting towards ramp. Instantly after getting this kill, he will fall back towards the rest of his team towards B, ready for the execute. Liquid would then proceed to smoke heaven, molly towards barrels, and also smoke Shaw after gaining the site control. Liquid will set up having two players towards monster and pillar, while the other two members who are still alive at this point will be playing towards pit. Following this, Liquid would then take the duels on towards the players of Zero Zero Nation who are retaking the site and close out for the round win. So let's start off with taking a look at Naf, who will be picking up armor and will immediately be heading towards B. Making sure to be checking towards Shaw just in case there is some CT aggression early on in the round that might be trying to gain some information. Naf would then follow Yukinda through Monster, shifting in this position, going to the right side of Pillar. He will briefly look towards Short before clearing Pit and staying in this position for the post plant. Notice how he is actually really trying to hide in this position and force the CT side to sort of push out in towards this crossfire that Liquid have set up. You do not really want to be peeking loads in this position, as you may simply just get headshot and even potentially cost your team the round. So now moving on to a liege, he will be purchasing armor and would also be dropped over a P250 from OC. As we can see here, he will be going by himself towards ramp early on in the round in order just to create some pressure towards the CT side in order to keep players in this area of the map. After taking out Damu as we saw in the map overview with a nice headshot, he will instantly regroup with his team towards B. Elise will be the third player out of Monster here, just being ready for these long range duels as he still has that P250. For the post plant, he will then just be staying around Pillar, trying to find where he can help his teammates out by checking towards Graffiti. And even swinging later on in the round to take out Taco, securing the round win for Liquid. Now looking at the newest addition to Liquid being Yakinda, who will be picking up armor and will instantly be jumping to the left side of Monster. He will be going out first here, however getting slightly blind by OC with his flashbang, so this does actually slow him down quite a little bit. Yakinda will then just be holding the short smoke to make sure no CTs try anything crazy while Nitro is getting the bomb down. Because of the information that minimum two CTs are towards ABC and Heaven, he will then move closer in order to not get caught out in the open. He will then just be playing this very well, making sure to stay alive and run down the clock as long as possible, just playing around a leash who is also Pillar that we saw previously. This does close out the round four liquid, getting them the round win. Moving on to now, arguably the best NA IGL in CS history, Nitro. He will be picking up a smoke and a Molotov. Heading towards B early on in the round, just making sure to be holding for the monster push, just so you can, uh, can stay on this left hand side, very safe and sound. When his team are ready to go out, he'll get himself against the back wall here on the right side, aiming as shown and run jump throwing. After getting out monster, Nitro will then smoke towards short before planting default. However, unfortunately, he does get taken out by the two nades thrown by Zero Zero Nation towards this position. Now taking a look at the final player for Liquid being OC, who will be picking up a smoke, flash and also dropping over that P250 to a liege. When the round starts, he will straight away get himself in this position ready to smoke off heaven for his team when they're ready to push. By getting in this position and aiming as shown, you want to jump through when your crosser hits the lower part of this metal beam going across. Following this, OC will then throw a flash over B, however I don't actually think you should use this lineup that OC used because it didn't go deep enough and was actually the one that full flashed your kinder. Instead, you want to be getting in this sort of general area and thinking where the end of the pillar is and just going to the left of it a little bit. A lot of people will run through this flashbang and that causes it to go a little bit too deep and that will flash your teammates who peek towards heaven. Instead, you want to be sort of step throwing it a little bit, that way it lands perfectly behind the pillar, however, this does take a fair amount of practice to actually make sure it lands perfectly, so I suggest you just go in an empty server like myself right now and just throw it a little bit, get a feel for it and understand exactly how you should be throwing it. Following this flashbang however, OC will then quickly check towards short pipe before heading out with the rest of his team towards site. As soon as he knows it's all clear and his team actually has the site, he will then be making sure to check the flank towards monster to make sure no CTs are in that position. OC will then stay around pillar here, trying to take duels onto any CTs that may be retaking the site. This is a fairly easy pistol strat to pull off guys, just make sure to be aware of any CT aggression early on in the round towards short on monster and also hold this for a few seconds. 
You should also send someone middle early on in the round just to apply some pressure on towards the CT side to make sure they don't exactly know what you're doing. Thank you so much for watching guys. It's been Glaze and I'll speak to you very, very soon. At IEM Dallas. And I think this is done. No health left, and there we go, join the force. They take the victory over 95 Vikings, and they take the first spot in this season. Two groups of seven teams will battle against each other in a round of robin best of one stage. Number one, each group goes to the semi-finals. Worst team, each group is out. The other 10 teams will go to the playing stage and battle it out to the remaining spots in the playoffs. Doge gets the one. Now it's on Pena. He gets the one. Can he get the second as he peeks out? He Ooh. does get the second! They again are having a buy and the Ren boost is coming out. This is what you like to see! Oh. And Brandfly takes the entry onto J. Hello ladies and gentlemen, we want to give you a quick update about the upcoming match. Um, so basically the game is not happening monkey clan uh for uh, they yeah they just uh they just left they uh there was uh, no one to play um so this is how the bracket looks like right now we've got three matches up in group b we've got one match up in group a um and yeah the vikings are the ones that still need to play in group b they will do that in the next week and the rest of the teams will play uh, I think we have let me check uh, Sinister Main against Myth Esports this um, this uh, Wednesday and uh, in 10 days we will have BM Esports against uh, Organisks or how you pronounce that it will be <laughs> it will be tough for me as well um, but next week we will have the new matches coming up um, for now guys I want to thank you for listening today. It was a bit of a messy stream, but it was the first one of this season. So I think we um, we can say that it uh, it could happen. Um, at it's least up along the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to be better along the way. Um, the problems that we have now are going to be fixed for the next one. Um, so uh, we will see you there. At least I want to thank Aiden for co-casting with me. Um, and I will go to the uh, casting screen really quickly so you can see us guys for the last time tonight. Um, so RQS is uh, getting the fourth with win. They will go to the 1-0 bracket. Monkey Clan is going to the, uh, sorry, going to the 1-0 bracket and RQS to the 1-0 bracket. So that's gonna be interesting to see uh, which of these teams will go to the uh, next stage. That's gonna be interesting. They will all play against each other. Um, and in a couple of weeks, we will know, we will go to the semi-finals and we will go to the playing stages to uh, get the last spot. But for now, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, have a great evening and uh, yeah. Uh, see you in a bit. Don't get killed. And uh, <laughs> I hope to see you guys in the next stream. Goodbye.